Okay then gang, so that is pretty much it as far as this short series goes. There is one quick thing I'd like to show you and that's this thing right here. It's currently complaining that no mode option has been set on our webpack file and we can combat that by giving it a mode and this could be either that we're in production or development. So in our case, I'm just going to say during development, but if we were building this for production, we could set this to production instead at the minute it doesn't really matter for us because we're just in development but what this does is first of all get rid of this warning and secondly it allows webpack to set certain optimizations for different modes now i'm not going to go into any great depth about this right now because that would take me a while but i will leave a link to this article or this instruction on the webpack documentation all about modes and the different things that each mode does so that link is going to be down below but hopefully now you'll see how Webpack can help us to set up a nice development workflow for when we're using TypeScript. Now, I am going to be leaving this Webpack file up on GitHub so you can grab it and use it for your personal projects or change it to your liking. The link to that is going to be right down in the description below. But there's also much, much more you can do with Webpack as well. So I would definitely go ahead and check out the documentation for more features and loaders that you can use in your Webpack configuration. We can use things like style and SAS loaders for working with styles or JSON loaders for working with JSON files. You can even use loaders in Webpack for things like HTML and template files. So there's loads of things you can do with Webpack. And in the future, I may also do more small playlists on Webpack with different loaders and different setups. So stay tuned for those. And if you did want to learn a little bit more about TypeScript in general, I've got a whole playlist all about TypeScript from the ground up on this very channel. That link is going to be down below as well. So then, my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot and it helps out an enormous amount. And if you do want to join the cause and support the channel, you can do by clicking the join button on the channel homepage or underneath the video right down below. You also get a little cool ninja badge next to your name in the comments for that. And it's 99 pence or cents per month. And I've also created several premium in-depth courses on Udemy. So the first one is Modern JavaScript. The second one is D3 and Firebase. And the third one is Vue.js and Firebase. So if you want to take one of those, all the links with the discounts automatically applied to them are going to be in the video description down below. So again, thanks so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in the very next course.